Okay guys, so this is the final video, the one that we've all been waiting for, certainly the one that I've been waiting for, and it turns out that the problem was indeed the Melanix card. So I put, just to recap, I removed the Melanix card and replaced it with a new card, an HP card, which I will um, have in the description links to that card so that you guys want to if you're curious you want to find out what that card looks like or what that card is uh, I replaced it the Melanix card with the HP card and um, the first indication that I knew it was working was I got lights I got lights on my Melanix you know my Microtech um, switcher and on the actual um, card itself this HP card so it turns out all along the issue is that the um, HP card, I mean the Melanix card, is not doesn't want to talk to the uh, the Metrotech switcher. Okay, guys, for the curious, I am going to show you the exact card I bought. Um, I'm going to do a test. Uh, transfer again this is a one gigabit system I don't have a 10 gigabit card yet it's in the mail but I'm going to show you at least what I've been able to accomplish with um, one gigabit with this new setup uh, through Unraid and I'm going to show you the card I bought as well as where you can buy it I'm going to provide links in this video as well in case if you guys are interested in buying it or want to learn more about the card but uh, hopefully this will be helpful Okay guys, so this is the HP card that I ended up purchasing. I did not get it from here, uh, and I will provide a link. I didn't buy it from this particular person. This is actually the last one it has. I will provide a link to, the, um, to someone who actually has the card so that you guys have it. But... Um, this is the HP card. It is, again, the HP NC552SFP 10 gigabit card. Um, like I say, nothing to uh, knock uh, Melanix, but that card did not work with my Metrotic switch. This is, as you can see, a low profile. I have a standard profile. They actually may have others. Uh, for sale that are um, the non low profile this is a, a low profile I have a regular profile here is what it looks like by the way in my um, unraid uh, system it is a right here uh, Ethernet controller and emulex corporation connect uh, 10 gigabit NIC so this is how it shows up in the um, in Unraid, let me just show you right here the improvement already um, that I'm seeing. So I am going to transfer over to this miscellaneous folder, uh, which I have a bunch of miscellaneous videos. I am going to transfer over to here. Uh, let's see this video here. Now, one of the things that I noticed actually is that upload is although not right now upload is much slower than download but as of right now look at that i'm getting and again this is i have only um one gigabit on this computer it doesn't have a slot for a 10 for a um pcie that i would need but even without it i'm at least getting i was getting 20 25 you know 19 18 megabits per second transfer i am now as you could see getting at least 50 uh, i'm down now to 45 but i was getting um you know 100 megabits now this is downloading this is uploading from my computer to unraid to the nas i'm going to show you what downloading looks like which is um much more impressive i would say okay so what was that all of um less than a minute to download what's the size of this video it was uh almost four gigs 
that's down that is uploading to unraid from my computer now i'm going to grab this video i'm going to transfer it download it to my desktop uh, i'm going to replace look at this not going less than 80 megabits i was seeing before 100 th th for whatever reason unraid i don't know if this is unraid or not but this ends up fluctuating um i'm not exactly certain why why but sometimes i get much better performance than others so again not 10 gigabit speed because i don't have a 10 gigabit uh nick on this computer and I actually cannot upgrade this computer. I think I'm going to get rid of this motherboard. This motherboard was really a bad, a bad purchase. This is an Intel motherboard, but I really don't like it. Um, on my other computer, I do have a slot for a 10 gigabit uh, NIC that I can use. So um, that is just to show you guys what um, that this is running and uh, what it can do. Now this. Um, particular as you could as I indicated this particular um, card has two SFP plus slots in it so I could actually go I don't I don't even have to go directly to um, the Metro tick Nick I can go actually into one of the other port slots um, on the card so directly into the unraid server um, I actually may try and do that. I might might try and do both. I have actually a long enough cable to reach my uh, Unraid. So I may actually go directly into Unraid and bypass the switch altogether. That may improve performance. It will definitely allow me to have another open um, SFP Plus port on my Metrotech, uh, my Metrotech switcher. So we'll see. All right, guys. I hope this was helpful.